everybody. I wanted to come really quick and do a three year, nine month update. I have had my locks for three years and nine months today. Um, today is October the 13th. So every 13th of the month, I do celebrate another month of a commitment. <laughs> another month of locks and I just washed them because I have been working out and I washed out the two strand twist that I did for the hair show um, it's been about a week and I have noticed now that um, my locks are maturing more they do need a little bit more TLC, I guess you could say, because they are getting much longer. I'm, I'm here now. So I'm about right here. Um, I'll turn to the back and let you see the back. Okay, so um, they're growing. I decided not to retwist. I just did a little light maintenance at the top here just for um, presentation. I didn't twist too tight. I just took a little, I just did this to each one and that was it. Um, in my first, maybe my first three rows. Um, not much has changed really, except for, you know, I have to do a little bit more moisturizing. Um, because of the color on my locks, especially, um, where is the one? I have one that is like my special little lock. I can't find it. You always can't find the ones when it's time to do the video, huh? But, um, anyway, it is one and it's like extra dyed. It might, I might not can't tell because it's still wet. But anyway, I'm outside. So, you know, I, I, I like my locks to dry outside, but they're, oh there it is there it is okay this one right here this one is a little my little extra i have to take extra special care of the ones uh up in front that i dyed a little bit lighter but uh, yeah this is my locks three years nine months um this is the only thing that i do not like is the ends take a lot longer now to dry um I started using a new Jamaican black castor oil as well as rosemary that I got from the um, hair show. What else different? Still using the rosemary mist. Still using my rosemary concoction. If you want some, please uh, send me um, a comment or email. You can send it to naturally113 or misskamiko at gmail. And I will gladly um, get you little sample of the rosemary concoction that I have one jar will last you a year trust me because you only have to put the rosemary concoction on right after you shampoo I just use it as a hot oil treatment and that's what I did today I washed it with the Dr. Bronner's I'm still using the Dr. Bronner's I'm switching between the Dr. Bronner's and the clarifying shampoo I'm still using my ACVs um let's see that's about it really nothing much really has changed too much um, so not too much to report all right hey one thing that I did forget um, <laughs> and all of you lock wearers that have had locks longer than four years um, comment please please comment and let me know what is the best method method to washing your locks now they are getting a lot a lot a lot heavier uh when i am washing i wash mine in i kind of alternate the first time i wash because i have switched to two washes now the first time i wash i use um in the shower i'm standing at like as i'm standing now i was standing in the shower and wash them and then after i put you know rinse out all of the shampoo what I usually do is um rinse them out I let the if I do a hot oil treatment which I usually do a hot oil treatment every single time and this time oh I meant to mention I did use the coconut milk shout out to uh lovely Lo love love you locks 31 I think that's her name on Instagram she gave me the suggestion about using the coconut water on um on my locks but i drank it 
but I did get some coconut milks. So I did use coconut milk, and I put the um, rosemary concoction. I let that sit for maybe about 10 minutes, rinsed it out, washed again, and I used the um, Dr. Bronner's again. But this time, when I washed, I, you know, bent over like this, and I washed the from the back in the tub so I've noticed both ways it's heavier I probably can't avoid the heaviness that the locks are getting and I see why a lot of people um, start to get frustrated and go back to locticians after they've had them for about four or five years because um, making sure my dog use the bathroom uh, because they get so heavy so help me out subscribe uh, watch I'm liking, like I said, I'm liking that the way the color is growing out. My natural color is coming back. And uh, shout out to T-Bay 82. T-Bay 82 had re-dyed her locks because she said it was too much maintenance. I totally agree, but I'm not going to dye them. I'm just going to let my color grow out. So, um, y'all holler back at me. Let me know what's going on. Let me know um, any comments, any uh, tips for washing my locks.